Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and here on my channel I make mostly crystal videos, sometimes spiritual videos, geology videos, small business related videos and more. So if that sounds interesting, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos, I want to say once a week, sometimes once a month. Okay, real quick before we get into the video, I just want to address the elephant in the room, which is that the lighting looks crazy. Honestly, unless I change it somehow in editing, I probably look kind of like ghastly and ill. Um, I didn't realize how much of a difference the black background makes in my lighting and I tried to do it on the white background and it was just, it was spooky and it still looks pretty spooky. So I'm in the middle of moving. So I took everything off the walls. I'm not moving for like another two months. So I didn't really need to take off every tapestry off the walls, but I did. I think by the next time I film a video, I'm gonna have put it back up because the lighting is just so bad without it. So you might just have to close your eyes on this one because I know it does not look great. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Today is a crystal chat video where I talk about one specific crystal and today's crystal is Caribbean calcite. I really had to refrain myself from saying Caribbean calcite is one of my favorite crystals because I feel like I say that about so many different crystals that it's just lost all meaning at this point because every crystal is my favorite crystal ever. But Caribbean calcite really does have a special place in my heart. So this is an example of Caribbean calcite. This is a piece I have in my personal collection. It used to be in my shop back in maybe 2021 and it didn't sell shockingly and I decided to keep it and I'm so glad I did. I feel so lucky to have it. Caribbean calcite is a rare vibrant blue variety of calcite that is found only in Pakistan. It started showing up on the market around 2019, 2020, which is right when I first started my crystal shop. I remember seeing it on someone's live sale and I just had to have it. I was immediately in love with it. I was still pretty new at this point at finding wholesalers and suppliers for my own shop. I only had a couple and I didn't really know how people were getting super unique pieces, but I figured it out real fast once I found Caribbean calcite. I was very determined and I hunted it down as soon as I could. It took some trial and error to find a good supplier for Caribbean calcite, but once I did, I found an amazing supplier and I had some really incredible pieces in my shop back in 2020. So in 2020 and 2021, I feel like I was really known as a calcite shop because I would always have Caribbean calcite and other colorful calcites, especially from Pakistan in my shop. And I honestly miss those days a little bit because those are some of my favorite crystals to have. Um, I do have unboxing videos of that time period up on my channel if you want to go back and look at what I had going on back then. Calcite is calcium carbonate and it has a hardness of 3 out of 10 on the most scale of hardness. Caribbean calcite is usually a mix of vibrant blue calcite with white, brown, and sometimes also blue aragonite. This mix of colors makes it so well known for its beautiful beachy appearance. It looks like sand with a vibrant blue ocean. Calcite is an extremely common mineral found in all types of rocks in all places across the world. Calcite is really cool because it comes in just about every color imaginable and it can look so many different ways. Because calcite only has a hardness of 3 out of 10, it is a pretty soft mineral and it is susceptible to being scratched or broken easily. I've noticed from my experience with Caribbean calcite and other similar calcites, it does break in half pretty easily. Very similar to fluorite or other types of calcites. This is a piece I got in my shop years ago and I kept it because it did break upon getting it. This top part was broken. I just glued it back together pretty easy. There's lots of cracks and fractures within calcite, Caribbean calcite especially, and it's pretty easy for it to just snap. Contact with water isn't recommended with calcite, but it's not the end of the world if it gets a little wet. Extended exposure to water can cause calcite to get damaged or break. However, a quick rinse is fine as long as you don't leave it soaking for a long period of time and you dry it right away. As with many other crystals, extended exposure in the sun can cause the color to dull or fade over time. However, I do think it has to be left outside in the sun for a long period of time because I always like to take my product pictures out in the sun and I've never noticed this with calcite, but just something to look out for. I wouldn't leave it outside in the sun for days and days. Unfortunately, the quality of Caribbean calcite on the market has gone down quite a bit over the years. The material isn't completely mined out, but there just really aren't pieces like this still being put out on the market. It is getting harder and harder to find high quality pieces like this. You can still find pieces like this out there for sale. I assume they might be older stock pieces because I don't really see suppliers putting out 
high quality pieces like this and they're definitely getting more rare and more expensive than they were years ago when the material was still new and abundant. This is a piece of Caribbean calcite that I have in my shop right now. It is actually the only piece I have left. This is a very standard quality piece of Caribbean calcite. You can still see the vibrant blue calcite in here, but it is surrounded by a lot of white and brown aragonite, which definitely gives it that classic Caribbean calcite beachy look. I think it's very beautiful. I do actually like the pieces with brown in them a lot, but you can see a lot of the standard quality pieces aren't as vibrantly blue as some of the higher quality pieces. This kind of quality is definitely more common as the years go on and higher quality pieces are getting mined out. A lot of lower quality Caribbean calcite on the market is actually just fully aragonite. It can be really difficult to tell sometimes because Caribbean calcite and blue aragonite can look very, very similar and it can be really difficult in some pieces to draw the line on which one it is. Calcite and aragonite are both calcium carbonate. They are polymorphs of the same mineral. So the only difference between them is their crystal system. Calcite has a trigonal crystal system and aragonite has an orthorhombic crystal system. And the crystal system is the way the atoms within the mineral are arranged, which translates to the way the crystal looks externally. Calcite is also more geologically stable over time than aragonite is, and aragonite can actually turn into calcite if left in the earth. With pressure and temperature environmental changes, it's not going to just change into a different crystal when it's sitting on your shelf. So here's an example of blue aragonite and here is Caribbean calcite. And you can see the Caribbean calcite is much more translucent and glassy and blue aragonite is very opaque. You cannot see through it. Even a lower quality piece like this, you can still see it has that translucent calcite part in between the aragonite. Color wise, these two crystals can be almost identical if you're comparing two high quality pieces to each other because the blue is pretty much the same exact blue. Even if you're looking at the highest quality aragonite versus the highest quality Caribbean calcite, the color may be the same, but that aragonite is always going to be opaque. Aragonite is also known for having little caves. You can even sometimes see like needle-like structures in these little caves. Calcite often has distinct banding, whereas aragonite has a much more random kind of swirly texture to it. Low quality blue and white aragonite is most often mistaken for Caribbean calcite. If the piece is mostly white and brown with a lot of these caves, it is most likely aragonite, not Caribbean calcite. And since they look very, very similar, and a lot of times it is a mixture of both, it's not really the end of the world to call blue aragonite Caribbean calcite, because in some instances it can be really, really hard to tell if it's one or the other because they're so similar and usually intermixed. And it's definitely not the biggest crime of mislabeling when it comes to Caribbean calcite because there are much worse offenders that we will talk about in a moment. Before we talk about the worst offenders for mislabeling, I want to real quickly talk about pistachio calcite, which is a green variety of calcite that also comes from Pakistan. This is pistachio calcite, and as you can see, it looks very, very similar to Caribbean calcite and sometimes there are pieces that are like the perfect mix between these two colors and it's hard to tell if it's Caribbean calcite or pistachio calcite but for the most part you can tell a difference between the two and I do sometimes see very very green calcite being called Caribbean calcite so I just want to point out there is a distinction even though sometimes it's hard to tell. Now on to the real mislabeling issue when it comes to Caribbean calcite. In my last video, I talked about this called seven mislabeled crystals that you need to look out for. This material is so commonly called Caribbean calcite and it just is not. And honestly, I don't think it even looks close to it, but it's so common that it's just known as Caribbean calcite now. I haven't had this material in my shop before and I haven't seen anyone have it tested, so I can't say with certainty what it actually is, but I know what it isn't, and it isn't Caribbean calcite. I think the most agreed upon name for this is sky blue quartz, but it is also sometimes called Chinese Amazonite. Again, I'm not positive which one it is. Honestly, I don't understand why it is so commonly called Caribbean calcite, because if you look at them, side by side, I really don't think they look similar at all. This situation is so bad out there that when I looked up Caribbean calcite on Etsy, the first result was not even Caribbean calcite, it was sky blue quartz. The color on this sky blue quartz material is much more grayish than Caribbean calcite. Caribbean calcite is so much more vibrant in aqua and it has a lot of white in it. Sky blue quartz kind of has a similar blue color to trollite. It is very opaque and most often has brown or gray inclusions. Also, this sky blue quartz never has banding like calcite does. It has some texture to it, but it definitely looks like 
quartz. The texture is more wispy and random as opposed to banding like calcite has. Another thing to consider when you're looking at towers is the cut of the tower. That can actually help you identify where the material came from. So like I've mentioned, Caribbean calcite only comes from Pakistan and Pakistan has a pretty unique way of cutting their crystals. So as you can see from these both genuine Caribbean calcite towers, they are cut in a four-sided cut. They're pretty chunky. They get like wider at the bottom. Maybe that's called an obelisk. I don't know the difference, but they have a distinct look. Whereas towers that have been cut in China are six-sided like this, they are pretty small and they're all uniform in size and shape. Like you'll see so, so many different materials cut into these little towers that are all pretty much exactly the same. Different countries like Pakistan have more of an irregular cut for their pieces. I actually have seen sometimes some crystals from Pakistan being cut in a six-sided cut, but the towers usually are more chunky and they're bigger. They're not so sharply cut like the ones from China. I hope this doesn't make things more confusing, but looking at the cut can kind of help help identify where the crystal was sourced from because I haven't really seen much if any genuine Caribbean calcite coming out of China because it's usually just suppliers from Pakistan who are directly selling it whereas a lot of other materials like sky blue quartz go through China to be cut and polished and sold. So if it's being cut into these little uniform towers that are very commonly from China if you notice that it's sourced from a Chinese wholesaler that's kind of a red flag when you're looking at Caribbean calcite because 99%, if not 100% of the time, it's coming directly from a seller in Pakistan. Unfortunately, there is so much mislabeling when it comes to Caribbean calcite on Etsy that the first search result is literally not Caribbean calcite. So I quickly wanted to go through some of the listings on Etsy and tell you, is this Caribbean calcite or is it not? As always, no hate to any shop that is selling something that is incorrectly labeled. I don't want it to come across as like I'm bashing any shop that has these listings. I just really want to make sure that people who are buying crystals know what they're looking for and that they purchase what they intend to purchase. Like if you're looking for Caribbean calcite, I don't want you to get some low quality blue quartz. And every shop makes mistakes at some point. I know I've made mistakes before, had things incorrectly labeled when I didn't know it. It can be really tricky to know what a material is, especially when the wholesalers themselves are mislabeling it. That can make things really confusing on the market. So that's why I want to go through and clear this up. And just because a shop has something incorrectly labeled or made a mistake doesn't mean they're bad or unreliable and that you shouldn't shop from them. So let's look at some of these images. This first one, this is not Caribbean calcite. This is sky blue quartz. This next one is also sky blue quartz. This is not Caribbean calcite. This, yes, is Caribbean calcite, but it is not the highest quality. The color is a little dull and pale. If you click on the seller here on Etsy, you can actually see that this seller is from Pakistan. So that does line up with authentic Caribbean calcite. Yes, this is very high quality Caribbean calcite. It's some of the best I've seen on the market at this moment. And I would definitely purchase this. In fact, I want it. This listing looks more like blue aragonite to me than Caribbean calcite. This is an example of a six-sided cut from Pakistan, which I actually don't see very often. They're a little more rounded and chunkier than the towers from China. I hope you can tell the difference that I'm talking about here. Maybe I'm making no sense at all, but these are definitely too opaque to be Caribbean calcite. They look a lot more like a nice quality blue aragonite, but these are very pretty and I would buy these. Yes, this is a high quality piece of Caribbean calcite. And as you can see, if you click on the seller, they are from Pakistan, which lines up, but this is $2,000 and I would not advise anyone to pay $2,000 for one sphere of Caribbean calcite. Like, yes, the material is getting more rare out there, but I don't think things are that dire out there yet. This piece was actually labeled Caribbean quartz, but it still came up at the first page when I was searching for Caribbean calcite. This definitely looks like the sky blue quartz that is commonly being called Caribbean calcite. And even though the seller did correctly label it as quartz, it did still come up under the Caribbean calcite search results. So just be careful with that. Yes, this is Caribbean calcite, but it is not high quality. This is one of those examples of a piece that is hard to differentiate between aragonite and Caribbean calcite because there is a lot of white and brown aragonite here, but there is enough blue that I would say that this is Caribbean calcite. So while these aren't the highest quality pieces of Caribbean calcite, these are really pretty and perfect if you like that beachy look. 
This is not Caribbean calcite. This is actually a pretty high quality blue aragonite. This is actually a really beautiful piece. I like it a lot, but it is not Caribbean calcite. This is not Caribbean calcite. Again, the pieces are beautiful, but this is pistachio calcite. This is not Caribbean calcite. This is a little tricky because the colors with the brown do look like Caribbean calcite, but this is just way too opaque and the colors and texture look exactly like sky blue quartz. This one is also tricky because it is a four-sided cut, which I said is an indication of it being from Pakistan, which would make it authentic. But when it comes to the cut, that's not the be all end all to determine if your crystal is what it should be or not. It's just one indication that you can look at. And lastly, here is one more listing I found that is not Caribbean calcite. I really hope that doesn't come across as mean, and I'm sorry if any of you are the shops that I showed here that had incorrect listings. I just feel like the best way to explain how to shop for crystals and to watch out for things that are mislabeled are to show real examples of what's out there on the market. Like I never want to send any hate to any other shops. I just want to help the buyer and I feel like this is the best way to do it. And one last thing to mention is that regular blue calcite is not the same thing as Caribbean calcite. I haven't really seen these two mixed up, but regular blue calcite comes from other locations like Madagascar, whereas Caribbean calcite comes only from Pakistan. Regular blue calcite is very opaque compared to Caribbean calcite and it has a unique patchwork look to it, whereas Caribbean calcite is much more translucent. It often has banding. When you see them side by side, you can see that the color is extremely different, so it's kind of easy to tell the difference. Caribbean calcite is associated with the throat chakra, and it is a great stone for communication and relaxation. This stone promotes emotional stability and emotional healing and helps us to get back to being ourselves after a period of difficulty. It gives a feeling of inner peace by helping to release negative thoughts and worries. Caribbean calcite's energy helps us to accept and embrace the present moment. It is a great stone for communication and increases empathy with others. When working with Caribbean calcite, you may feel more called to speak your mind. It is the perfect stone to use when dealing with others, where you want your voice to be heard and want to communicate with clarity and honesty. Working with Caribbean calcite can help improve your sleep and enhance your dreams and psychic abilities. It helps to connect you to your higher self to gain a sense of purpose and helps you to align to your most authentic self. Caribbean calcite is a great stone to work with if you are on a journey of personal growth and self-development. Development. So that's all I have for you today about Caribbean calcite. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something new. Be sure to like the video if you liked the video and subscribe to see more crystal related videos. As always, my shop and all my other links will be linked down below. Also, I saved my little life ramblings for the end instead of the beginning so I don't scare everyone away, but I'm sorry that I haven't posted in a while. Life has been crazy as it always is. My computer, my iPad, and my Nintendo Switch all died within like a week or two of each other, so it's kind of hard to edit videos without a computer. I already don't even have a video camera for filming. I just used my phone, which my phone was also broken. So it's just been rough. The universe said no videos for a little bit and I had no choice but to follow those directions. I'm also in the process of moving. So within the next two months, I will be in a new location. Kind of exciting, kind of sad. But now that I have a way to edit videos again, we should be back in business. Maybe for the next video, I will have changed the background so it looks a little less scary. Also just a random side note for anyone who's still listening is I've been getting a lot of like rude comments lately for some reason. Like people commenting that my chest gets red when I talk. Like, first of all, when I start talking, I get like kind of heated and it gets kind of warm. So I'm just either I'm warm, I'm irritated by the jewelry touching my skin because I have very sensitive skin. Or in older videos, I was definitely nervous in front of the camera. And I also didn't have a script. So I'm kind of just like winging it and it made me a little nervous. And I'm not as nervous now, but sometimes my chest just gets red when I'm talking. I don't know, I don't notice it why point it out weird also someone commented saying i was repeating myself too much that's definitely gonna happen especially in my older videos i literally didn't have a script and if i don't have a script i will ramble like i'm doing right now so my more recent videos i use a script and i stick to the script so i don't repeat the same thing over and over again but that's just how it was if you don't like my videos my demeanor my splotchy red chest then I don't know. That's just what you're getting on this channel. I apologize if you don't like it. I'm doing my best over here. So that's all I got to say. If you're still watching, be sure to comment down below what crystals you'd like to see me talk about next time, what kind of videos you'd like to see from me. I'm open to all of your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.